Outdoor and workwear manufacturer Port West is a multi-million euro family business, trading globally from century-old foundations in County Mayo. This particular shop is the shop that Charles Hughes founded in 1904 and it's the start of our business. In the 1930s my father joined him and successfully managed the business for the next 50 years. So this has been a, a very fortunate and a, a great shop for our company and we're particularly proud that 113 years later it is still in business. With the decline of the textile industry in Ireland, followed by the rise of globalisation, Port West refocused the business and are now an industry leader in the supply of hazard protection and safety gear. We had to create a new model and that meant going to China, producing in China. And in recent years we have decided to build our own factories in Bangladesh and Myanmar. And today we have 1,600 people employed in Bangladesh and two new factories are opening this year. So within the next three years, we should have 5,000 people employed in the factories, but this gives us full control of the quality of the shipping on time, and it also gives us a stronger hand with our customers. Harry leads the family business, ably assisted by brothers Cahill and Owen. The three set high standards in all things, from the performance of their products to the performance of the company. A lot of our success has been hard work, taking a few risks, persistence with it, and... Um, and look along the way. There's been lots of things that we didn't create, such as the Euro or globalisation, the EU, but you have to use these opportunities when they come, but you still need to work at it. The winner of the 2017 International Entrepreneur of the Year. Harry Hughes, Port West. <laughs> Wow, a big thank you to many people, to our customers for supporting us, a special thank you to our staff worldwide. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you to Emer, Kevin and Sean and all the fantastic team at EY. We had a great week out in the USA. Special thank you to my two brothers and my partners and friends, Cahal and Owen, to my wife Deirdre and her five children. I hope this makes up for all the time I was away. <laughs> Lastly, to all the finalists, thank you for your friendship and I wish you all much success in the future. Thank you very much. I'm sure you will agree they are all deserving winners, but only one can take the overall award. The 20th EY Entrepreneur of the Year winner is... Harry Hughes, Port West. Congratulations, come here to me. Just, you've heard the warmth from the audience. What's, what do you have to say to the audience this evening? Up Mayo. This is a great achievement. And I, well, any prize we win for Mayo, we take great pride in our county. And I'm delighted for companies in the west of Ireland. We are at a slight disadvantage over there. But this is a real representation of what family companies can do. And I'm delighted that it's in Connacht tonight. I'm just thinking, the West awake. I'm just thinking, if, if you saw the programme about Harry and your granduncle Charles, 1904, in that little shop, if he was looking down at you tonight thinking, you know, this is business that was basically launched in my name, which is on the way to becoming potentially a billion dollar business, what do you think he'd be saying? Well, I think he would be very surprised. Charles, with Charles Hughes, <laughs> with Charles Hughes was a man who, who really thought about the nation. He was a great citizen. After uh, 12 years in business, himself and his five staff were all arrested in 1916, imprisoned. That marked that man for the rest of his life. 
and he wanted to see a free Ireland and a great Ireland. And I'm delighted to be here to employ lots of people in Ireland and all the 24 finalists are all doing a wonderful job and that's what we should be doing. Fantastic words. Congratulations again to Harry Hughes, the 2017 Entrepreneur of the Year.